welcome. So you're thinking of moving to Nolansville, Tennessee. You want to know what some of the pros are and the cons are of actually living there? Well, I'm going to go over those and more, and I'm getting started right now. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Greg Spackman. I'm with the Living in Nashville channel. So if you want to learn everything about what it's like to live here, eat here, sleep here, play here, then click the little subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. I've been getting a ton of people that are just like you that are reaching out to me about making that move to the Nolansville area or the greater Nashville area. And I absolutely love it. So please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I've got your back if you're moving here. And here are the pros and the cons. So before I get started with the pros and the cons, I'm going to give you the location in Olinville, give you a little bit of detail about what things are around it. And here we go. All right, so I pulled up the map here so you can get a good idea of where Nolansville sits in relation to all the other major cities. So Nolansville is right here in the center of the screen. It's 33 minutes up to Nashville. It's 35 minutes over here to the airport. It's 25 minutes west over here to Franklin. It's 33 minutes over here to Murfreesboro. You're just under four hours to Atlanta. So if you want a major city and you, you know, want something larger, then you can definitely go to Atlanta where Atlanta has everything that you're looking for. And it's gigantic and it has massive traffic as well. However, we also have Bowling Green, which is to the north. So Nolansville is right, right here. And then Bowling Green is up here. And that is an hour and a half away. So if you want to go to the Corvette Museum, if you're a Corvette fan, that's something that you could go do a day trip up to there. They also have this really cool place that's just under two hours called Dinosaur World. So if you have kids and you want to go see something that will keep them wanting to keep going back there. We went there with my kids. They absolutely love seeing all the different dinosaurs that they had there. So that's something cool. And that's just under two hours to the south. We have... Huntsville, Alabama, and that's just under two hours as well. And then one more thing up to the north, we have Louisville, as I call it, or Louisville, as you're supposed to call it. That's three hours and 20 minutes to the north. It's a little bit of traffic on 65, but other than that, it's smooth sailing, easy drive up to Kentucky. So that gives you a good idea of where Nolansville is in relation to the other cities around you. You're going to be going to Franklin often, Nashville, and Murfreesboro, probably your three most visited cities outside of Nolansville itself. Nolansville doesn't have a lot of things, which is why you're probably picking it. It's a like a sleeper community, bedroom type community, but it is growing and adding things. And as you'll find out that the locals there are mad that they keep building everything, but it's still, it's got to progress. So that's the location side of it. So pro number one, and that's one of the coolest things about Nolansville is that it has a strong sense of community. So if you are on Facebook, they have a Nolansville 411 group that's tremendous. It offers everything that you're going to want to know. There's just a, ton, a wealth of information that you're going to find from that group. And you can find them fighting over this or that or talking about this or that. Or that's where they announce like new things or events that are going on in Nolansville, that sort of thing. But pro number one is just Nolansville is a very, very strong sense of community. Con number one, and my least favorite thing about Nolansville is the traffic. Traffic is awful at certain times of day. So if you are driving during rush hour times in the morning and the afternoon and school pickup time, it can be a nightmare to get around Nolansville. And there really isn't much that they can do about it. They talked about building a bypass. They never built it, so they built other stuff around it. So I don't see how they're going to build that now when they could have built it easily years ago before it exploded and they knew that it was going to explode, but that's con number one, the traffic, and you're going to see that it's awful. So if you can deal with traffic, then Nolansville will be a great place. And everybody that I know that lives there just deals with the traffic because they love Nolansville. Pro number two is that Nolansville has great schools. And while I can't steer or talk much about the schools, they just don't let us do that as real estate agents. But you can check School Digger. You can check great schools out for the school ratings. But Nolansville has Nolansville Elementary, Mill Creek Elementary, Jordan Elementary, Sunset Elementary, and then Sunset Middle and Mill Creek Middle. And Mill Creek Middle Elementary are right by each other. But uh, those are those schools. And then they have one high school, which is Nolansville High School. I think they're going to be needing another high school at some point here in the future, just with all the growth that's going on. But they they got the one high school. They used to be mostly zoned for Ravenwood High. 
And that was a big, big plus for people that lived there. They really liked that. And now you, you're zoned for Nolansville High School, which according to niche.com and grade schools and School Digger, it's fabulous. Con number two is the high housing costs. Nolansville used to be one of the cheaper places in Williamson County to buy a home. You had Fairview, which was the least expensive. Then uh, you had the Spring Hill side of Williamson County, and then you had Nolansville. Now Nolansville costs just as much as Franklin does. So I'm going to show you right now on my website what some of the homes prices are going for in Nolansville. So let's check that out. One thing to note about Nolansville, Nolansville has three counties in it. So you're going to find that Williamson County is the most expensive. Then you have Rutherford County and Davidson County. So you need to be really careful. And that's one of the things that you call and talk to us about is where should I live in Nolansville? Which county? All of that. Which subdivision is in what county? New construction? Is it in this county, that county, that sort of thing? We help you with all of that. And so here's the home prices. As you can see here, the highest home price right now, $2.3 million, a four bedroom, five bath, brand new construction, 4,294 square feet. Got another one here at 2.3, 2.2, some development opportunities, 2.1 million, and then it scrolls down. So let's look at the least expensive home. Least expensive place is a condo here, shows us under contract, 319. Here's a two bedroom, two bath one that is in Carruthers Farms, and that's 329. And then we got, before we get, these are all condos and townhomes, all in this price range here, until we get right here to 478. And this one is under contract, but 478. There's another townhome. Let's go to page two. More townhomes. So three bedroom, three bath one, coming soon, $500,000, uh, 530 you're going to really be in the six, seven, eight range in Nolansville. And if you want something bigger, then you're going to be 900 to $1.2 million range uh, to be in Nolansville. You want new construction, you're looking at minimum 650, 700,000 on up to the two and a half million dollar stuff. That would be the high housing costs and one of the negatives about Nolansville, but it's also a positive. Pro number three on my list is the ratings. And according to niche.com, Nolansville has fabulous ratings and let's take a look at those ratings. So here I have Nolansville pulled up for the ratings so you can check them out. A plus overall rating, A plus schools, A housing, A plus good for families, A plus for jobs, B minus cost of living. Really, that's more like a C. I don't know why they have B minus. B plus for outdoor activities, B for crime and safety, B for nightlife. I would say nightlife is more like a C minus. There really isn't much to do at night in Nolansville, so I'm not sure why they give it a B. B minus for diversity, B minus for weather, A for health and fitness. There are a ton of places that you can walk and hike and bike, that sort of thing, so that's cool. C minus for commute, more like a D, D plus for commute because traffic is terrible. You're going to find that out. Here we have the rankings. Best place to raise a family in Tennessee, ranked number one by niche.com. Best place with the best public schools, rank number one. Best suburb to raise a family in, Tennessee, rank number one. These are niche.com ratings, not my own ratings. Uh, however, clients that live there would agree with these ratings that I have. So crime and safety, here's the B, here's the scores of it. As you can see, every single crime and safety is well below the national average, like really low on the national average side. Robbery, they didn't only really have a robbery or a murder in there at all. Here's the schools, A plus for Ravenwood High, A plus Martin Luther King Magnet High, A plus Jordan, A Mid Sunset Middle, A Sunset Elementary. Once again, these are niche.com ratings and they are fabulous. So that's why it's so highly rated and a great place to live and why you're checking it out. Row number four is Nolansville has these great neighborhoods and luxury homes are all built in Nolansville. There are a ton of different subdivisions and that's another reason that you got to reach out to us so we can help place you in the right subdivision based on your wants, needs, desires. We want to make sure like if you're going to be commuting into Franklin or Nashville, you probably want to live west of Nolansville Road just so you don't have to cross Nolansville Road. But you wouldn't know that without talking to me or being there and dealing with it and moving to the wrong area and then dealing with all of that and then wanting to sell and move again. And we want to stop you from that. So 
reach out. Homes are awesome in Nolensville. They have great builders that build there. One of my favorite builders is Turnberry that builds in Nolensville all the time and has different subdivisions, but they build a great home. So that's pro number four, the homes. Con number four is location. I touched on that a little bit. And personally, I don't think Nolensville has a great location because it's so far. It takes you 30 minutes roughly to get to Franklin, 30 minutes to get to, 20 minutes to get over to I-24, 30 minutes to get to I-65. You can't, if you go to 840, you're still 20 to 30 minutes down south. So it's just not in a great spot as far as if you're trying to go to Nashville or Franklin often you got to deal with a 30 minute commute to get there. So if that's cool with you, then you won't have a problem with location. If you spend a lot of your time in and around your community, you'll absolutely love that. But you should know just location wise, if you're trying to be closer to certain things, then other cities are better than others. Pro number five is the grocery stores. And for the longest time, Nolensville has not had a real grocery store. And now they are getting two grocery stores. They're getting a Kroger and a Publix, so you will either be one or the other, which you shop at. You're going to figure that out for yourself if you're a Publix or a Kroger person, but Publix is coming to the corner of Rocky Fork Road and Nolensville Road, which is a great location for it to be, and Kroger will be coming to the corner of Williams Road and Nolensville Road, which is which will put it in a great spot as well. The locals think that this will help alleviate some traffic because you won't have to go north uh, to go to a grocery store. However, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. There's just so many people in Nolansville that are using Nolansville and going through it that it just is going to have traffic at the peak times. However, this will make it really, really nice when you forgot butter and you need it for cooking. So running out to go to either Kroger or Publix and grabbing you know some butter will be really really easy so that's pro number five con number five is my opinion and that's restaurants are terrible in nolensville they don't really have any great places to eat that i like uh you're gonna for a good steak you're gonna be going into franklin going to my favorite stony river i highly recommend that you try that out if you're a coffee fan get the coffee cured filet otherwise get the Normal filet or the bone and ribeye is awesome. So they have that. They had a really cool breakfast place that we used to eat at uh, when I would be out there showing property or visiting clients. And that place just closed recently. Uh, so that place is gone. However, on the flip side of food, they do have a really good barbecue place and that's Martin's Barbecue. So if you're a barbecue fan or you want to try that out, give that a shot. That's pretty good. If you want a good burger, it's about 10 minute drive to the north in Lenox Village. There's a and Burger Republic is my favorite burger of all. I wonder if they're going to put an in and out burger when they come here in Nolansville eventually. Let's see. What do you think? Comment below if you think that they will or they won't. Well, you made it this far. Please give me a call. Send me a text. Shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you about moving here to Nolansville or anywhere in the Nashville area. Until next time, see you later.